Hello and welcome. This is Srinidhi and you're watching Peace News International, starting with the headlines. A workshop addressed by BK Yogesh at Harmony House in Leicester, Life is not happening to you, life is responding to you, was the selected theme. Chinese New Year was celebrated at Om Shanti Retreat Centre in Gurugram. Chinese BK members visited for a meditation retreat. And a program on antidote to stormy emotions was held at the Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C. Dr. Terlin and B.K. Jenna addressed the gathering. Now the news in detail. The journey of life is an adventure which sometimes presents us with bouquets and at other times with challenges. But is life a series of random events that visit us? Or are we creating our life, relationships and conditions? To be a master or a slave, the choice is in our hands. To discuss more on this topic, a workshop was organized at the Brahma Kumari's Harmony House in Leicester. The event was addressed by BK Yugesh Sharda coordinator of Brahma Kumaris in Turkey on the theme, Life is not happening to you, life is responding to you. Values travel slowly. We have to be patient for the result. One reason why there is so much corruption in the world today is because people don't have the patience to achieve results with values. So they cut corners to get a quick result in something whether it's status or power or money or whatever it might be. But of course, when you transgress a value, you will suffer at some point. So if I employ patience, knowing that I'm doing the right thing, being honest, I'm applying the values in my life, let me be patient for the results to come. The workshop was followed by the question and answer session. Later on, participants also experienced deep meditation through Raja Yoga commentary. I choose to step back from the world of doing and enter the world of being. News from Om Shanti Retreat Center in Gurugram, India. Chinese New Year is the Chinese festival that celebrates the beginning of a new year on the traditional Chinese calendar. The festival is commonly referred to as the Spring Festival. On this auspicious occasion, a small group of eight Chinese members visited the ORC for meditation retreat and to celebrate the Chinese New Year. <laughs> The participants were guided by BK Bridge Mohan, additional General Secretary of the Brahma Kumaris organization, BK Asha, Director of the Om Shanti Retreat Center, and BK Sapna, Center Coordinator of Guangzhou, China. P.K. Rose, Raj Yoga practitioner from Guangzhou, also shared her experiences in the program. Baba's knowledge, Giang, is so amazing. No matter when I hear or I studying, I always feel something is new. And uh, to these things have more different or deep understanding. Moving on to United States, it is possible to have a plain sailing with enough wind and waves to make life interesting. By knowing how to recognize inner weather patterns and steer the ship of the mind, we can be the captain of our own destiny. In order to discuss more on this topic, a workshop was organized at the Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C. The event was addressed by Dr. Terrell L. Curry Avery, who is the author, founder of Sacred Intelligence, LLC, and also a psychologist. Dr. Terrell highlighted the topic, Antidote to Stormy Emotions, and shared her views on the magic of thoughts. I'm going to invite you, in order for you to stay emotionally savvy, you have to trust what God has already given to you, the gifts that are already inside of you. 
in order for you to make really, really good decisions. You say, sacred intelligence is inside of me. So all I have to do is to rely on that. The sacred is going to guide me. All I have to do is trust that. The sacred has already given me gifts that I have used every day. So you think about what have been some good decisions that you've made in your life. The workshop was followed by a question answer session. Later on, BK Jenna, the director of Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museums in Washington, DC, also shared her words on the selected theme. I don't try to compete with what other people have. And I'm not jealous that others seem to have it even more than I. If you can get some of that thought energy out of your way, you'd be surprised to see the work that God can do through you. Because you'll have more energy and more space. Moving on to Europe, a children's program was held by the Brahma Kumaris in Riga on the theme, Draw a World of Happiness. Holidays remind of the world of happiness and prosperity. And the biggest experts in the knowledge of what happiness is, of course, are the children. Therefore, a painting competition was held. Each participant made a crown on which the qualities necessary for defeating shortcomings were written. The program concluded with a dance to cheerful music. All participants promised to use their positive qualities in every step of life. News from India, Michio Hayachi, the global director of Imoto's Peace Project, along with BK Rajni, the director of Brahma Kumaris in Japan and Philippines, and BK Ambika, the chairperson of Brahma Kumaris Sparkwing, met with Dr. Vijay Bhatkar, the architect of Param Supercomputers in India, and shared the godly message at his office in Badhwan, Pune. Dr. Vijay Bhatkar briefly introduced the Brahma Kumaris organization and the activities of Sparkwing. Raj Yoga teacher B.K. Sunita from Pune, B.K. Shrikant, National Coordinator, and B.K. Sanjay, Headquarter Coordinator of Sparkwing, also accompany them. Moving over to the United States again, the movie God of Gods is a spiritual film created by the Brahma Kumaris. Apart from India, the movie is shown in Cinemark Theatre in Dallas in Texas. Senior Raj Yoga teacher BK Ranjan shared her views regarding the movie. And I really appreciate the effort and enthusiasm they have put. So thank you very much for making this movie. This movie gives true understanding of the self, God, the Supreme Soul, and the eternal world drama of 5,000 years that passes through four ages. This is a story of victory and defeat rise and fall of knowledge and ignorance, and how God comes at the end of the cycle to recreate the golden age, that is, heaven on earth. The viewers shared their experiences after watching the movie. Who are we and who is God? And there's a lot of confusion in this world about those questions, and this movie really answered it in the perfect way and great visuals and everything. So just really sweet movie overall. I thought it was really accessible uh, for people of other faiths, um, really easy to grasp the concepts, and uh, very well told. So a lot of things that we don't know, um, uh, Westerners especially, do not know about uh, this stuff, and I think it, it wraps it all in a very good package. It was wonderful. Um, I I really like the concept of, you know, it's one God, uh, many religions. If we all start believing in that, I think uh, the world will be beautiful. I really enjoyed it. I like the uh, contrasting the golden age with the uh, age that we're in now. Uh, and I like the point where we're all united and they're the same God. The narration is very good. Yeah, the English narration, I liked it. And then the concept to bring all of us with one common thought, the effort, the storytelling, the visuals and the dance sequences and the music uh, was thrilling. Thank you very much for watching Peace News International and have a great day ahead. Bye for now. Namshanti. No